Passing the ball to the net is actually a deadly accurate and powerful weapon for scoring goals. We will spotlight how you attack the ball, how you redirect it toward the goal, and the correct striking technique. Passing into the net, Mia, one of the arts of finishing. Yeah, in passing in the net, what we're looking to do is we're going to use our momentum of our run to help generate the power into the back of the net. We don't want a big swing. If we bigger our swing, the greater margin for error. Just a short, compact, and we want to accelerate through the ball towards our target. Kick it. A true goal scorer's value is their ability to finish chances in the box. This shot clearly shows Mia taking a straight, direct line to the ball. The slow motion view shows Mia preparing the surface she wants to use with a very compact backswing. From this angle, we can see her forward motion as she runs through the ball. That's Watch as Mia redirects the ball back to the corner from which it came, without overswinging. During the heat of the game, young players often get excited to score and overswing, reducing their chances of success. Try the technique of passing the ball into the net to improve your percentages in front of goal. Kick it. The one-touch finishing drill starts with players lining up 15 to 20 yards from the goal. Each player attacks the net and receives a pass from the side. Without stopping, the player must finish the ball in the corner of the net from the same side from which the pass came. You can compete against time or another group. When you're focusing on this skill, it's very important to consider these things. First of all, attack the line of the ball with speed. Secondly, Try and redirect the ball back into the same corner that it came from. And finally, make sure that you don't overswing. Pass the ball into the goal and finish forward. All right, here we go. Good. Excellent. Good finish. Good. Good. Good job, you guys. Good. Good All adjustment. Right. Good adjustment. Attack the ball. And relax. Now, Mir, is there something now in a game-like function, right? If we were coming in this slowly, we probably wouldn't get the ball. Right. So is there a couple of things that you can help them with to intensify that? Yeah, I think, obviously, you want to attack the ball and right, right before you get there, you want to be in control, okay? But I don't want you to slow down so much that you come to a complete stop. So we want to attack it, keep our hips to where we can still, if we miss hit it, it still carries the frame of the goal, okay? If our hips are over here, it's tough to get the ball over here. So we're going to accelerate through, just watch. So I sprint in, small, compact swing. I don't take a big leg swing, because if I do that, if I take a big, giant swing, it creates a greater margin for error, so my timing has to be absolutely perfect. Here we go from here, straight through, accelerating through the ball into the back of the net. Back where it came from. Okay, let's go. Accelerate, good. 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 Keep going through the ball, excellent. Don't wait for his pass. He'll pass it, you attack it. Beat the defender in. Good job. Kick it. By focusing on three key tips, passing the ball to the net can become a powerful weapon. First, make sure you attack the line of the ball as you approach. Second, redirect the ball into the corner of the net from which the pass came. And third, with a limited yet firm backswing, make sure to run all the way through the ball. When performing the one-touch finishing drill, focus on a controlled yet assertive approach, along with making solid contact. <laughs>